Okay, so here in Final Cut, we're gonna have a look at how we do an advanced split screen. And we're gonna be using the draw mask tool in order to do this. So I've got a stack of three layers here, and I'm gonna look at how I can add some different shapes to a split screen. So rather than just a straight four block um, split screen or split screen half and half, we're gonna look at how we can add some angles into that, and then also how we can animate that split screen coming on and off the screen. So I'm gonna grab this draw mask option so you're looking in your video effects in the masks options here or you can type in a search for draw mask and it will pop up there so we'll drag this across to our clip and then once we've got this set up on our clip we'll get this option to add a control point so basically here now we can click with the bezier tool from dot to dot and add control points for our mask Okay, so we've created a split screen, we've created an angle border there, and we can then go in and adjust those points as we wish to edit and eventually to animate those points. So if we now have a look at what we could do next with this, we'll look at how we can animate the position of this mask so that we can get the screen to kind of open up. And this is going to introduce a nice neat trick. So I'm just shift and clicking to select both those mask points. Now what I want to do is I want to get the mask on the layer below to match up exactly with this mask. So the way I'm going to do that is by using another cool function in Final Cut Pro 10, which is to come back here to copy a clip on the timeline. So basically go to edit, copy, click on the clip below and then go to edit, paste attributes. Now what this is going to allow us to do is to paste that draw mask effect, okay, and those points from my original mask will be in exactly the same spot. Okay, so if we just turn off this bottom clip by right clicking and disabling that clip or by tapping V, you can see we've got these two topmost clips in exactly the same spot. Okay, now I'm going to click on the second clip at the bottom here. So now I'm controlling the mask points for that clip. And what I'm going to do is click and shift and click on both those points and then drag these points back to the left. Okay, so now on these top two layers, I've got two perfectly joined clips, okay, that we can then animate to reveal the bottom layer. Okay, so I'm going to turn this layer back on by right clicking and going to enable. Okay, and I'm going to click on my top clip. Okay, come up to my uh, video options up here and then I'm going to go into transforms and we're going to animate and transform the position so in order to do this we want to first add a keyframe for this at the beginning okay so I'm going to come in to my position here and add a keyframe okay and then I'm going to come halfway through my clip here to around about 129 and add in another keyframe or actually I can just go ahead straight away and move this off the screen, okay? So now I'll get an animation for that angled split screen moving off the screen, okay? So now I'm gonna go down to my second clip here, okay? I'm gonna now add a keyframe here for the same position option, okay? I'm gonna come ahead in time to same point in time to 129, okay? And then now add another keyframe or just start to drag this clip off to the left. And so now if we play this back, we'll get a preview of those two split screens moving off the screen. Okay, so we get a nice reveal of that clip in the background. Okay, so as you saw there, we can use the copy and paste attributes to copy and paste the split screen attributes or the draw mask attributes from one clip to another, which is a really nice aspect here. We can also get into animating underneath our transform options, the actual control points themselves. So we can get into some more detailed um, animation of those control points. Okay, so now with this second uh, set of clips, I'm actually gonna try and do um, a slightly different uh, split screen effect. So we're gonna go to the topmost clip. We're gonna add a draw mask on here and then 
we're going to click once there, once here, once here, and once here. Okay, and now what this will allow us to do is to add a kind of clockwise wipe of that clip um, as we animate it off. Okay, so I'm just going to accentuate this a little more. Okay, and I'm going to zoom out just to make sure that this point is well off the screen. Okay, so I want to be able to animate that around. Okay, so up to there. Okay, so now I'm going to select this topmost clip, copy it, come to the clip below and go to edit, paste attributes, paste the draw mask effect. Okay, and now I'm going to move this point for that layer below to the other side here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is actually animate this this point coming round to here, okay, and then so I'm just going to undo that so it's in exactly the same spot, and then the other point coming round to reveal from the the bottom there up to the top, okay. So if we click on this topmost clip, okay, I'm going to do the same for this uh, option here too. So this point at the top right. So I'm going to add some keyframes for my control points. Okay. At the start here, I'm going to come round to about halfway through this clip. And then I'm going to animate this point coming across here to the right. And this point coming up to the top. Okay. Until the clips almost disappeared. So basically what we should have here is this clip kind of growing in behind. Okay, and then we'll come back and do the same for this next clip below. Okay, we'll add a keyframe for the control points. We'll come ahead in time. Okay, so just about where that other clip is disappearing and we'll do the same here. Okay, now there are effects similar to this within Final Cut Pro, but they don't give you the same level of control that you have working with these control points and this detailed animation. So once we get to this point where these clips are almost disappeared, okay, at that point, I'm gonna cut the end of these clips. I'm just gonna pull back the out point for these clips. Okay, and then if we play through, we'll get a nice wipe and a disappear and we could certainly uh, fine tune the point at which these clips disappear and also fine tune the, the control points there so that they really uh, match up nicely with the disappear and perhaps even just add a very short crossfade at the end here. Okay, so that it makes that finish there just slightly smoother. Okay, so we've got two types of split screen there. One split screen where we're animating the position of the split screens and pulling them off screen. Okay, and you could use this just for a regular split screen with no animation. And then this second split screen, which is animating the control points to do a kind of clock wipe on it. Okay, now the possibilities for this are. Uh, um, really exciting in Final Cut Pro 10 and there's a lot of creative opportunities that are opened up by using this draw mask tool and this is really just touching the iceberg. I hope you found this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.